Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Void Fox, and welcome to 10 Minutes of Sky Rogue! A procedurally generated fly em up where when you die, you're dead. Yeah, so it's like a, a flying roguelike. Like, uh, reminds me of those games from way back in the day. Those f those Fuwushi, as I you say it? That's how it's advertised, a Fuwushi kind of flyer. Anyway, I'm going to jump right in and show you some gameplay. Uh, so basically you have this sort of a uh, flying air uh, airship command center that you land on, carrier. And here's where you can set your load up and pick out your airplanes and stuff like that, that you can unlock by playing the game. And just by playing the game, you level up, you gain XP, uh, and then you can unlock different, uh, different fighters and weapons. Uh, so right now, this is your default, this one right here, the Pride of Arrow Force. Um, AKA the Rogue, and then you have, uh, I locked the Condor and the, uh, Schwal Schwalbe, which is a light fighter. Uh, it looks like his durability is really, really low, so we're gonna go with the standard. I think you can set his loadout, and here you can pick from various weapons that you've, uh, you've unlocked throughout the, uh, throughout the game. Infrared, what? I haven't tried that yet before. It's got a range of 560 damage. Not bad. Let's uh, let's put it on. We'll see what that's all about. And we're good. We're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and launch. And uh, everything in the game is procedurally generated. So islands all over the map are procedurally generated. The missions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The controls are super responsive and effective. So there's our mission there. I'm gonna switch to my infrared and see what that does exactly. I don't know if it actually works. Oh, it's saying X, so I can't fire it. Uh, I wonder why... I'm not sure what infrared's for. Oh, I just launched it. Oh, incoming! Now let's switch to our rockets. This is our micro. This is sort of a fire and forget. So there's all kinds of things in the air trying to kill you. But Oh my god, I really, really like this game. Uh, I gave it a go uh, earlier, just as, you know, a test flight, so to speak. I'm gonna drop some uh, flares. I'm gonna take out this drone first. Kaboom! <laughs> oh man, the game is gorgeous too. I just love the uh, simplicity of it. I want to see if we can take out uh, the the anti-air here. Pull up, pull up! Like, look how pretty this game is, guys. It's so good. Take out this anti-air here. I'm gonna try to swoop around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the uh, the rockets. They do some pretty good damage. Woohoo! Uh oh. Oh, just dodged that missile. Enemy lock. Okay, that's uh that's our mission is to take out that thing. I should probably work on getting that AA out of the way. You can lock on as well, so whatever your target is, you can lock on like that. And then you can set your camera to point at it, uh, which is really useful. You can pan around your plane and look at all the wonderfulness that is in this game. Oh, uh, I can't say enough good things about this. It, it's, it's left a really good first impression. Okay, let's just see what's over here. Okay, we got this guy here. Once we're in range, we can take it out. Oh boy. Oh, pull up, pull up! See if we can just adjust ourselves real quick. Woo yeah, baby! Alright, we're just gonna adjust ourselves here. Check out these uh, anti airs over here as well. I'm gonna try to start slowing down and see if we can lock on a few of them at a time. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Alright, switch to our rockets. Actually, what are those? Oh, that's my guns. I'm gonna go to our rockets here. See if we can't take this guy out. Come 
Come on, reload, baby. Okay, we're running out of health, so we're going to go back to base. While I do some uh, invasive maneuvers. We're out of flares, too. So basically, uh, when you're damaged... Oh, wow, we're really hurting. When you're damaged, what you want to do is you want to get back to base. Uh, where you can repair and uh, restock up. As well as uh, change your ship, your your plane, I should say, if you uh, so please. Uh, you'll notice my health is uh, is the bottom left there, in the little sliver of red. There's the ship. I'm just gonna line up here. Uh, landing doesn't like this isn't like a major simulation, so you basically just gotta kind of get sort of. There we go. Just sort of hover over it, and you'll eventually land. Uh, nothing crazy. You don't necessarily need a flight stick for this game. So I'm going to stick with the... Actually, you know, I'll change up. I'll change up to the uh, light fighter, see what that's like. As well as uh, add the... Um, let's see. We already have the rocket. Not really much else. Custer bomb is good for bomber, so I'm just going to leave that loadout. I think that's good. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna empty it. And, whoops. And we're good. We're good. Aero Lab, I already have these things built. Um. Alright, good. Let's get. Select you. And away we go! Okay, I haven't, I haven't flown this airplane yet. I think it's an enemy. An enemy fighter right there. Maybe we'll start. Or enemy carrier, I should say. We'll start doing some damage to it. But our mission's over here, so let's continue our mission. I'm gonna go to rockets. Actually, no, let's take out the AA first, guys. There we go. Now I'm gonna switch to rockets, because I think they do more damage. And we'll uh, see if we can't... Oh, this thing's a lot more agile. I, I will say that much. Slow it down. Fire all these rockets. All these guys. My guns. Not bad, not bad. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie, that was my fault. I got a notification on my phone. I looked over. Ladies and ge gentlemen, if that isn't, you know, <laughs> an advertisement for, you know, don't don't text and drive. Or don't, in this case, don't text and fly. <laughs> I don't know what is. Okay, we're just going to launch uh, with uh, the same loadout I had before. Jeez, I didn't even get to finish that mission. Oh, never mind. This is my default loadout. Oh, that's okay. Because it, that's right. It's a whole new game when this happens. A whole new game. Because it, uh, it does use the rules of roguelites. Here's some drones. We're going to take these guys out. Uh, so you start over from fresh, but there's... there's um, there are power-ups and, and bonuses that carry over, right? So there's a, uh, a persistent... Oh, jeez. There's a persistent unlock system as well. Take him out. Let's go take out these drones over here. Oh, he, he let out some flares. Yeehaw! Oh, this game is so fun, guys. I can't recommend it enough. Oops, that didn't work out. Well, I might as well take this thing out. Slow down, try to whip around here. I didn't take it out. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh no, time to get the hell out of here. Alright guys, this has been 10 minutes of Sky Rogue. 
I hope you like what you see. I, I'm really, really, really loving this game. It's, guys, listen, it's very accessible. You don't need to, uh, you don't need like a flight stick to jump in and have a lot of fun to start, to start like uh, dog fighting and, uh, you know, it's, it's just, this is, this is really an amazing example of a very accessible, uh, it, it's, it's so well done. It's so well done. I'm gonna take out this drone before we, we go. Oh, baby! <laughs> Did I get it? Hell yeah, I got it! Oh, beautiful. Anyway, guys, this has been Void Fox. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my content, please feel free to like the video, to subscribe, all that great stuff. It's all very much appreciated. And we'll see you next time. That's not how you land.